Hi, YouTube. I just wanted to show a, a little detail of the um, grounding I ended up doing here with the uh, each panel. Um, underneath, I have a uh, at the grounding hole. I have a uh, uh, UL certified uh, grounding device, which uh, slip in this guy, the uh, number six ground. And we're just gonna put them, <clears throat> tighten them up here. Um, anyway, that uh, grounds each panel as well as you can see grounding the end phase, and then also I have grounds for the uh, uh, racks as well. And again, this is uninterrupted ground all the way back to uh, the grounding rod uh, through the conduit and out. Anyway, a little bit of uh, extra work to do that, but uh, uh, this is what uh, in Fullerton is required by uh, the inspectors and uh, many other localities imagine similar, but uh, in order to make sure you have everything properly grounded. Um, we also have uh, these uh, uh, ground uh, web ground uh, devices here as well, and I'm currently not putting these under the uh, um, panels, uh, but I uh, could. I guess that, uh, I may do that later uh, as I tie them down for the last time, um, but. The inspector uh, just wanted to be able to see that each panel was grounded as opposed to having to be there when uh, these were these guys were tightened down because you're only supposed to tighten them down once. So uh, it's more of a matter of he can't possibly inspect that these were installed correctly where he can look and see that the ground uh, uh, wire was connected to each panel. So anyway, just a little bit more about grounding or getting there. I'm using my new little rigid tool, uh, which is nice to be able to get it in an angle. Uh, bought this on sale. They had the uh, um, came with the uh, free uh, or the extra for $25 the uh, angle uh, connection as well as a uh, um, you know multi tool for taking off wires and such. All right, well onward and upward. Um, uh, anyway, happy uh, installation, YouTube, for uh, those solar enthusiasts like myself. Bye.